Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Casey Loader. I own Electric 51 Speed Shop here in beautiful Salt Lake City, Utah. Today is kind of a gray day. I wanted to give a, uh, a quick rundown, kind of a walkthrough of the truck. And um, how you drive it. It's, it's simple, um, but it's one of those things that I get asked at car shows, um, which I don't really think much about, but this thing is for sale and somebody's going to want to know how to operate it or know how it operates most likely before they decide to purchase it. So, <laughs> so here we are. I haven't done this before as far as a, you know, walkthrough of how this stuff works. Um, it's been five years now I've been driving this truck. It's probably about time, but anyway, here we go. So first thing is you get in the truck and there is an app on my phone right there. So this app on my phone communicates to a controller that's mounted behind my speedometer in the dash uh, via Bluetooth. That controller is then wired through CAN back to the motor. So you, know, you can see here it's got drive neutral reverse. It's got a whole bunch of different settings you can play with, uh, power settings. And uh, so if I hit drive, it's going to tell the controller to tell the motor to drive and then I'm going to be able to go. It's pretty simple. Um, you can get this app on an iPhone. You can get it on an Android. You can get it on an iPad. Um, I believe in, I, in, in Android. I don't, I don't do that stuff, but I'm almost positive. If not, I apologize. Uh, it might only be Apple stuff. But the 59 truck, we put it on an iPad uh, on the dash, which is really nice. It's a, a bigger screen. You know, you can read everything on it. My truck's a little simple, uh, and I like having kind of nothing on the dash, and I don't really pay attention to the speed that much. I just kind of drive the same speed as everybody else around me. Um, so, you know, I hit drive, and I set it on the seat next to me. Uh, you know, I watch temperature and things like that when I'm at the lights, but... But that's about it. So, so yeah, so you get in, I'll show you here. So you get in, you open up the app here and then you turn the key and you're going to hear a couple of clicks. Those are the relays. And then the little neutral button should be green. And that lets you know that the phone is communicating to the controller and the controller is communicating to your motor. Now, in order to shift, I have to put my foot on the pedal. There'll be a little red light that comes on. I think it's right here above the, the speed, which is zero. So hopefully there's a red light there. Uh, once you see that red light, it means your foot's on the brake. You can now shift into drive or reverse out of neutral. If you don't have your foot on the brake, there's no way you're going to be able to do that. So once that is the case, you hit drive and you take off. Oh, I'll just go ahead and turn that off now. So it's a really simple system, really simple setup. That's all you have to do to get in and start driving. Um, now, as far as steering, braking, you know, those sorts of things, <laughs> you know, the safety things. Um, when I first built the truck, uh, I kept manual steering and I also kept manual brakes. It's got four wheel disc brakes. And so, you know, combine that with the regenerative braking on these things and you really don't use your brakes all that much so that was that was fine you know for the most part but um i had a couple of people drive it uh dave kindig notably was one of them and kev dog uh they drove it i think it was in 2021 at um, one of the good guys shows here um, they took it out on the autocross course and that was you know their number one complaint was that it didn't have power steering and power brakes <laughs> You know, if, if you weren't used to driving something like that, it was a little difficult to, to keep under control sometimes. <laughs> um, anyway, so this thing has an 81 Camaro front suspension under it and it has a power steering box on it. 
So because of that, I used a Volvo S40 power steering pump. Um, it's a really cool little setup. So it's an electric pump with power steering fluid on top. So it's like a standalone unit. Um, and like I said, because this had a power steering box in it, that was the best choice rather than trying to use like an all electric setup out of a uh, Equinox or uh, Saturn View, um, which I have done before in the 59 truck that we built. <laughs> Um, but that thing was, you know, had all sorts of different things uh, than this truck. So, so anyway, power steering, Volvo S40. Um, it's push button, so you don't have to run it all the time. Uh, brakes. That was another complaint, right? Manual brakes, four-wheel disc brakes, but they're manual. Um, this thing doesn't make vacuum, so that becomes an issue. Luckily, uh, Chevy Cobalt plus like almost every other newer vehicle uh, has like a little standalone vacuum pump that they use. I think it's like an assist type of deal, but anyway, you can grab those out of the junkyard. They're relatively cheap. They're easy to set up. Um, <clears throat> so I finally threw one in here on the brakes, which I got to say is amazing. Um, you can run these with manual brakes like I did for probably like four years. Um, and you know as long as your regenerative braking is is turned up you really you know i use my brakes at the light to be honest with you but um but i will say it is nice when you turn the regenerative braking down to have power brakes like when you're on autocross or something like that it's um it's nice it it's nice it's definitely a, a, a good upgrade <laughs> i kind of laugh that i went so long uh, without it but hey man all my other old cars back in the day, they've had 350s and manual brakes. <laughs> so, so this wasn't a new thing for me. Um, what else? What else can I tell you about this thing? Um, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's, it's simple to drive. It's simple to maintain. I charge it at home. I'm actually sitting here uh, at Liberty Park in Salt Lake City, Utah at my favorite charging station. Uh, this charging station is actually directly across the street from my house. And so I get... Okay, so as I was saying, uh, this happens. You drive a truck like this and people want to ask you questions. So um, <laughs> anyway, a uh, guy thought it was a 56, it's a 58. Um, but he was close. That's what he said. And he was. I will attest to that. Just the difference of two headlights. Okay, so back to the electric truck stuff. Um, yeah. Okay, so... Today it's a little bit gray. I actually wanted to get out and do a walk around and kind of point uh, some of the things out that are on the truck as we went through this, but it's really gray. It got super windy. We're having a change of weather. Um, so I'm sitting at my favorite park, which is Liberty Park in Salt Lake City, Utah. And it's my favorite charging station. Uh, we've got a couple of free chargers over here. Um, I live just across the street from here. So I can drive over here, park my truck for a couple hours, charge up for free. Uh, go get lunch and then come back and and there we go free gas um i haven't been able to do that with my tundra so far i haven't found any free gas stations um but anyway that is definitely one of the perks um there are free charging stations i would say in every state i really don't know how it works in every state but um i would imagine most places have some sort of uh, free charging station somewhere that you might be able to find uh, but i enjoy it so thank you taxpayers that's me. I'm included in that group of people. Um, yeah, so uh, what else? Recently, I've added some new carpet in here. Uh, the seat's the same. It's been in here for years. Uh, weather stripping to the windows, you know, things like that. Um, yeah, she's for sale. So I thought I should run down all of these things. Um, so there you go. Um, like I said, or like I sure i probably said this thing's a blast to drive it's so fun um you know it's got a full air ride system it's i don't know i mean shit man it's a 58 tesla patchy <laughs> it's like the only one